Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 35 of Final Fantasy VII. So, on the last time with Final Fantasy VII, we made it to Rocket Town. That's the name of the town. Because it's a town, and it has a rocket. I neglected to, I neglected to mention that. And we met the coolest guy ever, Sid. So... Unfortunately, he doesn't want us to have the tiny Bronco, his treasure possession. So, we're just going to tell Shira that we can't borrow that. Excuse me, Cloud. Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. Shit! Shira! What are you, blind? We got guests! Get some tea! Shit! I, I'm sorry. And people are shit. Really, don't mind us. Shut up! Sit your sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea! Iconic. Oh, I'm so damn I'm pissed! Shira! I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco! And make sure you serve him some tea, alright? Damn, yeah, man! What's up with that guy's attitude? Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. Is it like this all the time? You keep quiet even when he's like that to you? No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear! You work like a snail! Even the mood will get tired of waiting around for your ass! I'm, I'm sorry. Don't think so much checking that fucking oxygen tank! Shira, being careful's good. But no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But... No buts! You're not stupid, but be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain! Our dreams are finally coming through! We're so proud to be a part of the launch of the Shinra number 26! Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain. Fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel, all clear. Shimra number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shimra number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who's the little shit? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, goddammit! Who the fuck's still in there? It's Shira, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shira! What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The oxygen te the results of the oxygen test things weren't satisfactory. You stupid little shit! It's gonna get so hot in there that you ain't gonna be shit when left when we blast off you're gonna be burnt to a crisp you're gonna die you know that don't you I don't mind if I can just fix this the launch will be a success I'm almost done almost done you're gonna die Sid start the countdown we won't make it if we don't starting engine hey wait a minute Shira's still in there! What are you going to do, Sid? 
If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until launch. God damn it, Shira! You want to make me a murderer? Captain! Shira? Tank number seven check is complete. Once I check tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira. Hurry up. You're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What? What am I? What am I supposed to do? Oh man, the moon, outer space, my dreams. Shit! He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why it's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Shira! You still haven't served them tea? I I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down, or ain't my hospitality not good enough for you? They're late. Where's Rufus? Hey, hey! Long time no see! So, Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't the fat man Palmer, how long are you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program gonna start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. The president's outside, so why don't you ask him? Shit, good for nothing, fat ass. Don't say fat! Hey, hey, T! Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and... Oh yeah, don't forget the lard. At least Palmer is a man with priorities. Hey, hey! Have we met before? Hey, hey! Is the tea ready yet? Plenty of sugar and honey. Oh yeah, don't forget the lard. Oh my god, man. You know what? It balances out. Sid may not treat Shira right, but he's just so cool, man. I love his backstory. I love his everything, man. And it's kind of an interesting relationship going on there because, like, Shira is okay with Sid treating her, like, the way he does because he saved her life. So she feels like she owes him a lot, even though... I don't know. It's it's an incredibly complicated relationship. So, think of it what you will. Think of it what you will. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but it seems like we're going in the wrong direction. But now, I th we think we know where he's headed. But we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. Shit! First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco. Shimmer took out a space away from me, and now you want to take away the sky from me too? Oh my. 
You seem to forget that it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer is going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Well, this is the point where you can't change party members, unfortunately. So, I kind of want to Kate Sith for this, actually. Because we haven't seen him in a while. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go as is. Wait a minute. Does everybody have their materia all up? Well, I mean, Cloud doesn't have that because I want to show off that really, really cool thing. God, I still can't believe that. Uh, he took away all my best materia, though. Eh, might as well show off the Mystify. Might as well. Hmm, what do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know! The Shinra building! When the president was killed! Oh! S -s security Contrary to my, what, what you might think, no. Palmer doesn't get to call security. Because we gotta fight Palmer! So... What this guy is all about is he has 6,000 HP. And... He is going to use that little gun of his, and also to slap his butt. And, uh, let's, uh, do this. Bio. Let's, let's do the bio. Let's see if we can get it poisoned. Give him, give him the old poison strategy. His Mako gun shoots out various elements. And, ooh, we got him poisoned. Yeah, so his Mako gun can do various elements. Mainly, he uses the two versions of all the, you know, magic, basic magic attacks, like Fire 2, Ice 2, Lightning Bolt 2, you know, all that stuff. So he basically uses that. And wow, we got him, we basically got him good, didn't we? Alright, let's, uh, you know what, let's have Cloud use, uh, question mark. He's running play. I mean, almost at half of his HP, so this should do a lot. Let's see. 956, not bad. See? It's a lot better when. Uh, question mark, question mark, question mark hits for a lot of damage when you're near death, you know? Actually, at this point, I think we can just let the poison kill him. <laughs> 1 HP! <laughs> <laughs> ah! He goes out like a puss. <laughs> Truly like a puss. Edin coat. I can't stop it. Forget it. Get in.
been hit. Emergency landing. This is going to be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss at him. fly anymore. Can we use that as a boat? Shit! Do whatever you want! Sid, what will you do now? I don't know. I'm history with Shinra, and I've given up on that town. How about your wife, Shira? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys going to do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get to Rufus up to Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up! How about it, everyone? I'm all for it. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls! Numbskulls? Yeah! Anyone stupid enough to go against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So, where are we headed? Rufus was going after Sephiroth to the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it, that Temple of the Ancients? Don't know. That numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction. So, maybe it's off this way? Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. We got a boat! The tiny Broco may have crashed, but it can be used as a boat. We can go across shallow waters and rivers. So this is pretty cool. And, uh... Pro tip. Pro tip. Don't go any further up that mountain range. This area is called the Wutai area. We've heard about Wutai a whole lot. Like, there was a war with Wutai that happened years ago. And this is the region where we're at. Don't go up that mountaintop unless you want to get pulled into a side quest. Anyway. Uh, but actually, now that we have a boat, the Tiny Bronco, a.k.a., we can now do things that we haven't been able to before. But, uh, first things first, I want to actually head off to the, uh, shores of the beach. And not only that, but we also have a bright and shiny new party member in Sid to show off. And wouldn't you believe it, Sid is our final party member. Yes, nine party members in total. Can you manage all of that? No? Well, too bad. Nine party members is, is what you get in a game where you have to use three at a time. <laughs> I used the tent, by the way, to uh, heal myself up before all that big stuff happened. But yeah, Sid is, a brand, is our final party member. And it cannot be clear that he is one of the best. Great strength, great vitality... Great magic, great spirit. Not really so great luck and uh, dexterity, though, but he's very good. He's very good. He is of the Dragoon class, a.k.a. he uses spears. So you would probably say he's more akin to the Dragoon class, which is a class that, you know, uses spears and often likes to jump for their stronger attacks. Uh, let's give him the encounter and uh, Shiva. And we wasted all of our all materia, so heck, we might as well just use the bare essentials. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Anyway, I'm also just using this battle to show off uh, what we can do as well. As, wait a minute, do we have manipulate on anybody? Nope, just, okay, good. 
I need that, actually. It actually takes a while for enemies on the shore to actually go up here, in my experience. So, let's just do that. And I believe... Yep. This giant-ass turtle is the Adamantimai. Yeah, isn't that just weird? So the Adamantai has an enemy skill, Death Force. This makes it so that one ally is immune to death. So this basically means that, you know, you'll be immune to enemies casting death, if you get my meaning. Like, you, someone casts Death Sentence on you and you have Death Force on you, then you can be immune to that. Uh, I wouldn't really use that. Like, not really. Ah, I keep bumping my mic. I keep bumping my mic again. Uh, I wouldn't... It's not really a skill that I would use. It's just there to me. But, yeah. And also purely situational. But, it's something. Also, I want to take, I want to take a look at uh, Sid's battle model. Because it's, it's... It's honestly really, really cool. Like, look at this. Again, can't sing praises about Sid enough. He's really awesome. And he smokes like you just don't care. And, uh, this is also something that I want to tell you right here and right now. This spot right here is gonna be my soul grinding spot. <laughs> Like, out of all the places to grind in Final Fantasy VII, this one is probably my favorite. Because there are a lot of enemies here that you can grind off, like these. These are the Thunderbirds Argo. Their lightning attacks do over 300 damage. So, already that's good for Limit Break grinding. And they can easily be taken care of with one beta. And yeah, I'm just waiting for someone to use his Limit Break, aka Sid. Or rather, I would use it if... Oh god, okay, here it is. So, Boost Jump. It's like I said about Dragoons before. Yeah, they jump to deal all that damage. And of course, Sid needs to use his limit skill if you want to get that other one. Alright, so let's do it again. And we also get to do it with Cloud, too. Oh, great. I already cast White Wind with him. <laughs> I want to use Meteor Rain again so we can hopefully get that second limit, level three, level something, limit, flat. Well, Eric's dead. <laughs> well, there, he go or, there she goes. All right, so once Aerith gets back up, we're going to use Meteor Rain. Just so that she can get the experience. So yeah, the Thunderbirds can be very dangerous, dangerous first time going through. Once you figure, once you know how to deal with them, they're not really so bad. And by the way, against bigger groups of enemies, Meteor Rain will deal out six damage, six six hits to random enemies. Yes, finishing touch. There it is. There it is. Finishing touch. It blows away all opponents. You can't get any more busted than that. You really, really can't. So yeah, that's going to be my prime limit break grinding spot. And also my grinding grinding spot. I'm going to make good use out of it. And you're going to see Cloud over leveled because we have to be with him. Anyway, we have the tiny Bronco now. So we can go across shallow waters. Not deep waters, because that's more tinted blue. And we can go across rivers, finally. 
So, over here, we, we're actually in the Nebel area. And over there is the Cosmo area. And by going over here, we can get a little glimpse of what will happen in the future. And by going over here, simply, we make it to the Gold Sauce and Corel area. Gold Sauce. <laughs> Yes, gold saucer area. Excuse my French. Anyway, I'm going to make a save over here because you have a choice here. Huh? Another customer. You sure picked out a way out of you sure picked an out of the way place, but but if it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. Don't have it. Keystone. What? You didn't come here for that. Keystone is the key that unlocks the gate to a very old temple somewhere. You're not going to believe your ears, but I heard it was the Temple of the Ancients. The Temple of the Ancients? <laughs> Don't take it so seriously, it's just a legend. I mean, legends in video games are often true, so where's this keystone? I sold it already. Yeah, well, to tell you the truth, I didn't really want to sell it, but that guy had a way about him that made you feel like it may not be a good idea not to sell it to him. Who did you sell it to? The manager of the Gold Saucer. I think his name was Dio. He said he was going to put it in his museum, and he took off right out of here. Where's the temple? Come on, it's only a legend. But if it were true, that would be something, huh? Now that you mention it, I heard of something called the Ultimate Destruction Magic. It's supposed to be hidden somewhere in the Temple of the Ancients. Ultimate Destruction Magic? Come on, I said don't take it seriously. Now let's change the subject. All the weapons you see here are made myself, but lately I haven't been able to get the materials. Wouldn't happen to have some Mithril on you, would you? I'll trade you something good if you could spare some. Hey, thanks. You can help yourself to either a big or a small box. Go for the 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 small box. Because it contains... Because it contains... Hello? Hello? Great Gospel! That's Eret's ultimate limit break. And you only get to choose once. <laughs> Unless otherwise noted, you can only select it once. In the, in the big box, you can get a gold armlet, but you can already buy those at Rocket Town. And besides, Sid is already equipped with one from the start. So why would you even do that? By the way, that gem ring that we got from the Materia Keeper, it protects against Paralyze, Petrify, and Slow Numb. Uh, whatever slow numb is, I'm basically uh, akin to being, it's basically akin to being slowed, slowed down, I think. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We can already go, we can already go back all the way from Rocket Town, all the way over to the Gold Saucer from over here, which is our next stop. Since it has something to do with the Temple of the Ancients, after all. And if you go over here, this is where it is. Not some legend, huh? <laughs> yeah, everyone would say, like, you know, the Temple of the Ancients, you know, that's just a legend. You What are you, stupid? No. It's real, man. It's real. You never underestimate legends in video games. Anyway, by going all the way out here... This makes the journey from Junin to Costa del Sol incredibly painless. Because now you can just use your tiny Bronco to go over here. That's cool, man. I love it. I love you, tiny Bronco. You're my best friend. You are my best friend now, boat. I love you. I love you like a brother. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna see what we where we can go out here because this is this is great. 
Like, we, we, we basically make our way from the western continent all the way to the eastern continent in, like, a matter of seconds. Like, that's cool. That's really, really cool. Unfortunately, there isn't a way for you to get back to, like, the earlier areas, like the Chocobo Farm or anything like that. But wait. Wait a minute. I, I think there is... I mean, I'm not entirely sure if there is, actually. Actually... Nope. There isn't. Nope. Absolutely not. It didn't happen. No. It didn't happen. Absolutely not. Uh, where does this lead to? Because... I mean, we had the tiny Bronco, so obviously... Now, even if we did, we couldn't make it there. So obviously a river over there feeds into that. I kind of want to know where that is now. I'm just saying. Use the map, even if it's not clear, to know where you are at all times. It's probably best for you to have the map zoomed out, zoomed in like this, which is to say, press minus once and you can zoom out the map. So that's very, that's very, very helpful. You know, just to get an idea, just to get an idea of where you are. Oh, and by the way, these islands, they're all part of the Gongaga area, for if, believe it or not. It's incredibly strange, but there it is. Over here, we reach the Woodlands area, which we can now have access to. And actually... Okay. I'm going to see if it's possible. I'm going to see if it's ac if it's actually possible to do this right now. Oh wow. Uh Yeah, no. I I don't I don't see it now because uh we are well over time like oh my god. <laughs> uh so nope. Ab absolutely not. We're 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 not going to do that. So, yeah, we've ran out of time. <laughs> so, yeah, with that, we're all done here. Because we ran out of time. We ran over time, rather. Because I want these videos to be, you know, easily digestible. Even though I'm uploading them every single day of my life. So, with that, we're all good. So, on the next time with Final Fantasy VII... Either we're going to see what more we can do with the tiny Bronco. Actually, one last river. Actually, no. This is the same river. Okay. Next time. On the next time with Final Fantasy VII. We're either going to see what more. I believe we've seen all that we can do with the tiny Bronco at this point. But we're also going to... You know what? Gold Saucer is next. See you guys on next time. Thank you for watching and 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 now.